Hi everyone, welcome to Prep Fusion. So in this video, we are going to answer a few queries. So let's start with the first one. The first one was, will HMPV virus affect our examination? Will it affect, affect the date of our examination? Will the examination be cancelled or it will be delayed? So the simple answer is absolutely not. Okay. There is no chance of examination being delayed or cancelled. First thing, this virus is not as serious as COVID. Like it is just the hype the media is creating. And uh, even if it is as serious, still the examination will not be cancelled or delayed because I remember the peak time of COVID. In the peak time of COVID as well, there was no delay and there was no rescheduling of the examination. So forget about uh, the delaying or rescheduling. So just uh, prepare as, just prepare in the same manner that you have been preparing. Okay. So yeah, this is the first uh, query. Now take, uh, now ask, uh, now coming to the second one. Uh, that is that how many full length tests you should write. So people were asking how many full length tests should be enough. So you can write as many full length tests as you want, but the minimum number I will tell. So minimum you should keep the number as seven. Okay, at least seven full length tests you should write. As per me, at least seven you should write. So you can make your schedule uh, according to uh, according to the time you are having. Because EC guys are having roughly around uh, thirty five days, and uh, electrical guys are having roughly around twenty days. So you can make your schedule as per that, and. Uh, now coming to the second part, like uh, what should be the perfect plan of the remaining time? Because electrical guys 20 days and EC guys 35 days. So what should be the perfect plan? So for first I'm telling for electrical guys. So electrical student uh, should write, should start writing full and test latest by 15th, uh, 15th January. Okay. Latest by 15th January. So from 15th January, you should start writing the full and test. And if you have already started, then it is pretty good. But uh, latest you should take as, as 15th January. So now the time is that you should write full length test. You should analyze your subject. If you are lagging behind in some topic, then just re revise that particular topic and then come back again and write your subject wise test. You can write down subject wise test as well. You can write down topic wise test as well. And you can write down full length test as well. Even before the examination of three to four days before the final examination, still you can write down topic wise test and subject wise test. I have seen people saying that subject wise test, topic wise test doesn't matter. Actually, those doesn't matter for your final examination, but those will help you to improve your subject. If I'm writing full length test and I, and I'm getting to know that I'm lagging behind in a particular subject, let's say digital electronics, let's just, let's just say I go to know that I am lagging behind in digital electronics. So there is no harm in writing the full length test of digital electronics after preparing that subject again. Okay. What do I mean by preparing that subject again? You just need to revise those topics where you are lagging. That's it. You don't need to study the subject, complete subject again. Let's just say you are lagging in FSM. So you go and watch some video of FSM. Let's just say you are lagging in shift register. So you go and watch some video of shift, shift register uh, very fastly. Just understand the concept and then come back again and write down the test series. In that manner, you can proceed. Are you getting this point? So this is what you need to do in your whole time remaining. Okay. And uh, for EC guys, like if you are uh, left with one or two topic, let's just say you are studying EMFT and you are left with antenna and you feel like that you need to cover it, then you can cover it as well. But don't start a new subject now. For EC, electrical guys will, will certainly not start a new subject. For EC guys as well, I'm saying don't even think of starting a new subject if you are targeting for gate 125. But if, if your final target is gate 126, then you can certainly start a new subject as well. So this is how you need to proceed. EC guys can cover one or two new topics, but electrical guys should not... Uh, uh, think of covering any new topic, just revise whatever that you have studied and how will you revise it? You will revise it using test series. So if you are writing subject wise test series, if you are writing topic wise test series, then it is fine. You would be knowing what are, what all are your weak topics, what all are your weak areas, just to improve those weak areas and then come back and latest by 15 January, I will start writing my full end test. This is for electrical student and for EC student, I will say latest by 25th January, you, you should start writing your full end test latest by 25th Jan or you can take 30th Jan as well. 30th Jan will be the deadline. After that, you should start writing full end test till this point. You can revise your subject. You can uh, watch PYQ series that are running on some other channel. You can watch FYQ series as, as well that is running on our prep fusion channel. In that manner, you can revise or you can revise through your notes as well. You can revise through test series as well or you can revise through some revision videos as well. So that's up to you. So in that manner, you need to proceed and EC guys can cover one or two topics as well, which are left. Uh, example I have given like in, in EMFT, if I'm left with uh, antenna, then I can cover it in, uh, let's just say in analog electronics, I'm left with OPAM so that I can cover in that manner, you can proceed. Okay, then yeah, so that's it. I guess I have answered your queries like how to prepare in uh, 20 days, like what should be the perfect strategy. And uh, the second query was like uh, HMP virus and uh, one query was how many full length tests should be enough. So seven is the number that I would say that is the minimum number you should keep for writing full length test. Now, another point I want to add now, uh, assuming that I started writing my full length test in first full length test, I scored 20. I again wrote in second full length test, I scored 25. I again wrote, 
I, I scored 25, 26, 27. In that manner, I wrote down three tests and I am scoring roughly around 20 to 30 marks. Then here you need to stop. In full length test, if you are just performing very badly, then you need to stop. Improve your subject again. Okay. So if you are not even performing anything, like if you are not even crossing 35 marks, then you need to stop writing your full length test and improve on your subjects. So you are like if you are if you keep on writing the full length test and if you are not improving your marks like from 30, you are getting below 30, then there is something that you need to improve and that is your subjects. Okay. So you must have written the full length full test and even if you write in future and you feel like that you are not improving in your full length test, then you can stop and start improving your subjects. Just solve PYQs, just revise whatever that has been written in your notes and then go to the final examination with good amount of confidence. So there is decent chance that you can perform decently in the final examination. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah. Thank you for listening.